Hey, what is going on guys? Hex competitive back again today with a brand new video and as always down in the title below we'll be the top we're talking about today, so episode 5 of Fuka. Now, I'm going to start with the positives for this show, because there, there's one really negative, so I'm going to kind of start out with the positives and negatives, sort of kind of, who knows. Now, so we, let's start off with Sarah, the new uh, person in the band, it's actually the guitarist's sister of Hedgehog, I believe, I think he's the guitarist, can't remember what instrument he played, so she ends up joining the band, right, and she's awesome, she's way better above, you know, just above and beyond everyone else in the band, and her personality, I, I want to go with the whole Twitter thing, because that was funny, they're They've been like best buds. They've been best buds on Twitter, you know. And a lot of times we do have those, those people we find on Twitter and we're friends with, and like we don't know each other in real life. But like it's kind of like Xbox or PlayStation. We have certain people we play with. We've never met them in real life, but maybe we've just been friends with them for you know forever, months, years, whatever. We have we just get along. We have a good connection, you know, good chemistry with one another. And <laughs> they were <laughs> tweeting each other this whole time, and they did not know it. And I like how um shared like. Changed her, she did 180 with her whole personality and she just like forgot everything you just said that she was scary and that she may rip his head off and this whole time she thought that he might be that you but she wasn't sure and basically her way of being shy and being not good you know not just not being good at socializing period you know be, being socially inept was basically giving people the cold shoulder being like a dick and I was kind of like hmm what, is that true would that work or I mean is that a little bit far fetched because, like, whenever she found out it was you, she was, like, best friends. And, obviously, like, even she has, like, a crush on you now. You can clearly tell. And I was kind of like, yeah, it is. Because, you know, I was just thinking. I was, I was getting some manga once, you know, at Barnes & Noble. And me and, this, me and this person are in the manga aisle, right? And we obviously have, like, we have some kind of chemistry in the sense of we are into the same things. We like anime and we like manga, but he 100% gave me the cold shoulder. Like, he did not want to talk to me. He had, he didn't want to have, he did not want to have anything to do with me whatsoever. He, yeah, he's, he basically gave you the fuck you, leave me alone kind of attitude. Even though we were, we're even talking about a manga and or an anime series that we both liked. And he definitely gave me, you know, this three word answer, stuff like that, maybe two word, mostly one word, but. Yeah, but that does happen. It is realistic. It happens because we have you. He's more. He's shy, but he's he's nice about it. His way is just kind of. He's giving you the cold shoulder in a nice, polite way, and she was doing it in a rude way, obviously. Now, she is an excellent guitarist, and I love the garage. Oh, the garage band kind of thing was just. Oh, it's awesome. I loved it so freaking much. Like, oh my god, the musical is setting in, man. The music is setting in. The genre of music is setting in, and I love it because that girl can sing. Now, the other thing was. I thought the beginning with Koyuki, I thought it was kind of stupid, honestly, is really the best way to put it. Koyuki's like 18 now, right? And she's going to get flustered enough to where she's going to leave his house and not even say anything to him whenever he says, wait, just just walk out and leave and go home. After he says, I never got to tell you that I had a crush on you when I was five. Like, come on. <laughs> like, I was just kind of like, come on now. That's a little bit, yeah, that's a little bit... Come on, really? Like, j j j just really? I mean, I literally just put my head out. I was just kind of like, whatever. But now another hilarious thing I thought was the whole, <laughs> the band guys being gay. The guy that wanted Fuka to join track and Mikasa and you being gay. <laughs> I thought was, that was hilarious. Because, I mean, it does happen. That's realistic, too, in the sense of you're hanging out with a girl at school. Well, everyone's going to think you're you were together, like, not not necessarily hanging out outside of school, but just in school in general, talking a lot to one another, and <laughs> I thought, they were just talking about, oh my god, it's a love triangle, and the girls are just orgasming over it, basically, I was just, like, kind of like, Jesus Christ, like, it really, is this really happening right now? Like, I thought that was absolutely hilarious, I'm not even gonna lie, like, wow, I thought that was hilarious, but, I mean, other than that, I thought it was a good episode of Fuko, I, I enjoyed it, um, but yeah, leave down in the comments below as always, guys, what you guys think. Be sure to leave a like, come subscribe, follow on Twitter, X25, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.